my line in. And something picked this clean. So guys, I uh, just put out the crab pot. I got two chicken thighs in there this time. And I'm going to check the crab pot. So that bird is so unnecessary. So we've had this crab pot out since around 6 p.m. yesterday, 5 or 6 p.m. So we're gonna check it for the first time today. It's around 3 p.m. So we'll see. Nothing even ate our chicken. Yes, right. last night when I came here, I had the GoPro in there and I came back to get it before it got dark and there were two little crabs in there about this big and I think they were the same ones I saw in the last video but they're not even here. They didn't even eat the chicken so I'm a little confused. Just little finger mullets. But they're too frozen so I'm just gonna put a few in there. Get the darn things separated. that put all of them in there Got a fish.
social distancing at its best right here. I do not see anybody <laughs> all the way down the beach that way or all the way up the beach this way. But um, it looks like it's low tide. So we're gonna get rigged up and see what we can catch. Frankie has an injury on his nose from being outside all night the other night. So he has been in quarantine um, as well. It is absolutely beautiful out here, even though it's a little bit windy, pretty foggy. Um, it's pretty chilly actually, but it's still beautiful. It's much better than sitting inside. So hopefully you guys can live vicariously through me right now and feel the ocean breeze and hopefully catch some fish here in a sec. So I've got a simple little bottom rig here using a three ounce weight straight on the bottom there. I'm just gonna take one little shrimp, break it in half. These are still frozen. I leave the shell on there and I'm just gonna put it on the hook. Just like that. Put some shrimp right on the hook. All right, so this rig is set. I'm gonna go cast this one out and rig up another one. This is Elo's leash situation and I'm really hoping it doesn't knock over my rods. You good boy, bud. got a bigger hook so instead of using shrimp on this one this is um, some albacore belly tuna belly that I've got here no sir oh my gosh Elo stuff is pretty frozen too but I managed to cut a pretty nice chunk out of there just gonna hook it nicely.
one, I should be able to really tell since it's a much lighter rod. Oh! I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was definitely a bite. Dang, I think I missed it! I don't know if you guys saw that bend in the rock, but oh man. it guys I'm going home tonight and I'm gonna burn some cilantro since I don't have any sage and I'm gonna cleanse myself with some cilantro because I obviously have a really bad juju fishing bug hi guys good morning it is about 7 45 a.m. overslept I set my alarm last night for 5.30 a.m. and I guess I either slept through it or it just did not go off. I think my volume was super low. I just can't win. surprise look at this monster crab he's huge nice hard shell blue crab there and that is a blue jimmy that's a male right there he's huge so looks like they're liking the tilapia fillets I've got another one in there I'm not sure if that was quite a keeper or not but um, regardless I'm gonna leave both of them in there you can tell that this is a male too by the long straight undercarriage there um, some of this frozen cut mullet that i used last summer as you can see the heads are cut off but hoping they might draw something else in some more crabs just put that in there
and that's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more awesome fishing content.